Well, howdy there. In this video, we're going to be looking at the list.zip function. List.zip is a very peculiar function, but uh, sometimes when a problem comes along, you must zip it, and we're going to do that today. So what in the world does list.zip do? If you look at the, uh, the documentation online, list.zip uh, does the very important uh, job of taking a list of lists and turning it into a list of lists. Uh, and if, you, uh, if you're like me, the first time you read that, you said, well, wait, what does that mean? That, does, it, does it just not do anything? No, it actually does something pretty important or pretty useful. Uh, you don't need it all the time, but boy, when you need it, it is super duper handy. So uh, imagine that we've got two lists that look like this right here, right? Okay, we got list one and list two. What we want to do is turn it into 12 lists. This is list one. It's got these two items in it. This is list two. It's got these two items. This one has these three items. So basically, we're taking this list of lists and sort of, if you imagine like the, the boundaries kind of, you know, uh, circling around them like this, right, to create the list, we're going to say, no, remove those boundaries, make the boundaries more like this. We're going to encircle that, we're going to encircle that, we're going to encircle that, we're going to encircle that. So we're taking, you know, the first items from each list and creating a new list based off of that, the second items from each list creating a new list off of that, and what I end up with is this right here. So when would you actually use it? Well, I will show you. Imagine that you've got a table, you bring in, it looks like this. It's got um, monthly sales for all your different stores. The problem is, is the months have this weird, bizarre uh, prefix of month colon. So each, you know, the month is January, the month is February. Oh no, there's got to be a way to get rid of that. Well, let's see, how can we get rid of that? Uh, well, there are some ways to do it, but they're awfully long and involved and complicated. What you'll often end up doing is uh, this. <laughs> so I say, all right, let's, let's rename that one. Okay, great. Let's rename this one. And great. And if you've only got 12 of these, this won't take too terribly long. But boy, if you have like 100 of them, if, or if you're sort of creating a function that does these to like 100 different Excel workbooks, this is just not a workable solution. But but what you'll notice is up here, the way the table.renameColumns function works is it takes a list of lists, right? So let's, I'm going to twirl this open. Twirl this open. I'm going to shift enter. So the, there's an outer list, and that outer list has a bunch of little lists inside of it. And each little list contains uh, what the old column name was and what we want the new one to be, right? So you can imagine if we had a list that basically had all of the names that they, they are right now and another list that had um, all of the names that we would like them to be, that would almost be right, except uh, we would need to zip it, right? So we would need uh, the the two names, the the old name for January, the new name for January. The old name for February, the new name for February. So we'd end up with uh, 12, 12 new inner lists, right? And list.zip will help us do that, okay? So let's go ahead and head over here. So uh, <clears throat> a couple ways to do it. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and I'm going to duplicate this, right? And I'm just going to call this right off the bat old names because that's what we're going to be going for here is old names. We want to get the names as they were before. So I'm going to go ahead, right click, insert a blank step after. Why would you do that? Well, because we want to we want to call <clears throat> the the last step, and we're going to write some DAX or, or some M around it. So what we want to do is we want to get a table dot column names, and that's going to get the column names for all these items and turn it into a list. Okay. So we just took the table we had before, and we got all of the column names in a list. Okay, so that's halfway there. By the way, this should look a lot like this. It's exactly the same. Okay, so the next thing we do is we need, uh, this is the old names. We need the new clean names, right? We need this list, but cleaned up. Easy enough. We're going to right click. We're going to click duplicate. And what we want to do is we're going to use the text.replace to replace each instance of month with nothing, right? Pretty simple. So we're going to right click, insert step afterwards. And we're going to do a list dot transform. Transform. We're going to transform each item in the list. Well, which list? Oh, whoops. Hit escape. We're going to transfer. Do a list dot transform. Transform each item in the list. Well, what do we want to do to each item in the list? Well, for each item in the list, each, we're going to do a text dot replace, and we're going to say, hey. Go to each item in the list, go to each item in the list, each text string, go find month colon, 
and replace it with nothing. Empty text string. Right? So let's see. One more, close that parentheses, and boom. Okay, great. Now we've got our clean list. Oh, silly me. I forgot to rename this thing right when I made it. We call this clean, er, new names. Okay. So um, let me come over here. I'm going to go ahead and right click and I'm going to reference this, right? So uh, just to make my life a little easier. So I've got this new, this, I've got the old names and the new names, right? So let's look at the the old names and the new names, right? I need to turn this into a list of 12 little lists, right? So let's go ahead and do that. So we start by getting this, the old names, and now we're going to create a list out of it. It's the old names and the new names. Go ahead, we close, close that bracket out. So now we have two lists. There's the first one. Boom. There's a second one. Okay, now all we're going to do is zip this list. So when a problem comes along, you must zip it. List.zip. Okay, hit enter. Boom. Now we have all the little lists, right? So we have a list of 12 little lists, each one containing what we want, what the old column name was, and also what the new column name should be. Okay, so I'm just going to call this zipped. So now we come back over here to monthly sales, and we say, okay, I'm going to go ahead and just do one of these, just because I want uh, Power Query to write the, write the code for me. I hit rename once. I don't really care what I want to rename it to, just one, two, three, four. Okay, so we, it writes this code for us, and what we really want to do is we want to replace this, this list of lists that Power Query wrote for us with our other better list of lists, okay? So argument one, what do you want to rename? Argument two, what would you like to rename it with? I want a big list uh, with a bunch of little lists, each list containing what the old name uh, was and what the new name should be. Well, we have that, it's called zipped. And when I hit enter, boom, nice and clean. Uh, and you know, um, this seems like sort of a, a problem that you won't run into every day, and that's true, you won't run into it every day. Uh, but like I said earlier, when you do run into this problem, um, this is a much easier way around it than I've seen before or that I've worked with before. There are other ways that are not nearly this fast or simple. Uh, so in that sense, uh, list.zip is actually kind of a cool little quirky function. I highly suggest you check it out. Okay, well, I do hope that was helpful, and I will see you next video.